So I wanted to learn. And so I started seeking out all the experts and looking through the curriculum. And let's just start with this one on the left. And I'm going to just take you through them. Perform Better was a summit that they want you to go to where they bring in experts and you pay and you're there for three days and they share with you their best practices. And that's at the Perform Better Summit. Then you got this FMS screen, functional movement screen. Cool idea. Essentially, he created these movement patterns you're gonna do and it will immediately kind of give you an idea of your deficiencies. Because remember, we're talking about deficiencies in movement that create poor posture. And then by bringing more movement into your life, nurturing your body, feeding it, you're gonna gain back mobility. So, that's a good program, but it's, it's just another one of the programs. And then, um, let's see, it's a good one. This guy, Stuart McGill, he's from Canada. He's one of the world-renowned spine experts. He's, to me, he's one of the most research-backed um, he's a biomechanical engineer who did his thesis on the spot. The guy is ridiculous. His professionalism and just knowledge is outrageous. So he has a book called Back Mechanic. Cool book. It's like 35 bucks on Amazon and I think everyone should read it. It has a whole book, a chapter called Myth Busting. And he goes through all the myths about the injections and all these different things about surgeries required and this is how you fix your back. And he just destroys it. Do you remember what the title of the book is? Yeah, it's called Back Mechanic. Back Mechanic. Oh, okay. Yeah, Back Mechanic. And I got to meet that guy at the summit. Uh, he actually signed my copy of the book, which is kind of cool. Um, anatomy Trains, that guy, has dissected the body and created this whole map of myofascial tissue. His name is Thomas Myers. And Thomas Myers is a brilliant anatomist and massage therapist. He's a healer, but he does dissections all the time, which is something I want to do with him because he shows you how the connective tissue works through the body from a dissected version of you. So you really get an in-depth understanding of how you work mechanically. But essentially what he discovered is that we have these um, trains or connections of tissue that go from like the bottom of the foot all the way back up the, the back of the body, all the way up the back of the head to my eyebrows. And then that's the posterior chain. And then you have the anterior chain. And then you have your transverse rotation spirals. And essentially there's slings where they, you got a cross sling and another sling. And integrity structures. Exactly. So Thomas Myers, anatomy trains. What he did was is he dissected the body and drew out all these meridians. I wish I could share you the images that I have in the books. I just didn't want to have any issues with copyright. But this guy's material is the top. He has like a five hour, he has a five hour online video on myofascial tissue that I think if every single high school anatomy class shared that, as the class, like we're gonna follow this for the semester, the education that we as society would have would be unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. So that's anatomy trains. And then like, you got McKenzie Institute, which is from Australia. And this guy came up with uh, McKenzie Press, which is again, for back pain. And there's some conflicting information from him and a few other schools. But um, this guy, Edu Fortel, he's an Israeli movement expert. He's almost like a circus guy because he can juggle and balance things on his head and move and dance and flip and do all these crazy things. But his whole thing is movement culture. And his whole idea is like, move it or lose it. Like, we're designed to move, move. And the thing is, it's like his mother, I think she's in her 60s, and he, she, he has her doing amazing things now. And... He has some pretty cool perspectives as far as like people that have been in really poor positions with their health and seeing their passion to rehabilitate themselves that like when he sees people that don't appreciate the capacity to move that he's like you know what's your deal you know like be grateful take advantage of your body like let's move so that's him you portal mm -hmm. then you have animal flow which is a cool program body movements flowing on the ground moving then FRC, functional range conditioning. 
that's all about joint health. So it's literally how exercise is designed to efficiently retrain the joint capsules of our body. FC or FR is a sister branch of it, which is the manual massage part of it. So they're teaching you how to like, with your force, put a vector of direction into the tissue, which that vector is again gonna communicate what tissue type to grow. So it's all about like how you're pushing into the tissue that's gonna then communicate to the mechanical receptors what to grow for the future. FR. Um, TACFIT, that's what I was telling you before. It's for law enforcement, firefighters, and military. But the reason I got involved in it was they had rehabilitation exercises to help those people stay in the field, right? And these are combat guys. These are serious wear and tear. And they're getting healing from mm -hmm. that exercise. So I thought, this is not fair. Civilians should have access to this information as well. Just because you're not in the force doesn't mean you shouldn't have access. He has a program called FlowFit, which is a movement program. This TACFIT requires weight training and really some heavy lifting stuff. But the FlowFit is all body weight. It's all learning how to articulate your body first, then we can bump you up into TACFIT. DNS, I already told you about that. Great program. Now, this is some weird stuff going on. This is, so tensioning, right? Getting the myofascial tissue to decompress and <coughs> tense and gritty, like how to re-tension that system so it's tough. Some people, or even Thomas Myers will say, sitting there and stretching and just stretching and not really like incorporating the movement will make the tissue flaccid. And you will lose the elasticity of the tissue. So fascia has plasticity and elasticity. So like when you get a plastic bag from the grocery, you start pulling it and pulling it and it deforms, right? And it won't actually go back to the original form. Our tissue has that same capacity. You can actually deform the tensions and then lose the elasticity. So a lot of these elite programs in my eyes, are designed to re-tension the body and maintain elasticity. One of those programs right now is foundation training. Another one is this one in the middle called functional patterns. And then this guy Weck right here, David Weck, he created the BOSU ball, which is that blue dome trainer thing that you step on and balance on. This guy is coming out hard right now for the entire industry, calling out all sorts of professionals because he believes that the way they're training people is improper. So there's like, as a researcher, I'm witnessing some heavy movement going on in the scene right now because these are all established. These are all established programs with lots of people practicing. Uh, practicing. And you got like this guy that's like, that's all wrong. They need to do it my way. And so, as a researcher, I'm the experiment. I'm the lab rat. I'm the one interested like, well, maybe he's right. Let's go see, you know, let me start incorporating his movements. And I'm actually feeling pretty good from it. He's got this jump rope thing where you don't jump through it, right? Everyone thought, oh, jump through it. He's teaching you how to swing the rope around the body, which then causes you to retention because you're trying to keep the rope taut around you, and if you can see me now, I'm kind of going in this figure eight position, and my shoulders are going from external rotation to internal rotation, mm -hmm. right? So now my shoulder joints are moving in the full range of external and internal, and my spine is spiral engineering right now, and I'm moving, and my hips are turning. That's just for moving the ropes. So what this guy is saying, or what he designed are these little tools that you could use as feedback mechanisms to then re, to move better. And when you start moving better, your body feels better. Move better, feel better. Um, Gray Institute, or Gary Gray, this guy is amazing, amazing. I, I met him at the Perform Better Summit. He blew me away, he blew me away. But we're gonna do some of his movements. 
He has this little pattern that he takes you through, which will take your whole body through full articulations. And what I mean is you're going to take your joints and you're going to move them in their end ranges, which is what you want to do. You want to always build your mobility, not limit it. So, um, Gary Gray, that's where I do jiu-jitsu right now, Renato Tavares. And he's from the Carlson Gracie senior lineage. So this guy is a legend, fifth degree black belt, multiple time world champion, and I'm just blessed to be in his city and train underneath him, which has been totally life changing. But what's really cool is I feel better too. And now I'm starting to wonder, should wrestling or grappling be really a mandatory kind of thing for society? Because I think that the pooling on the body with another person resisting is different. I really think it's different from weightlifting. And when I got done with jujitsu class, and I was doing already a lot of these things, I felt better. I felt even more tension. I felt just better. So I'm like, okay, I'm into this. Now the wear and tear is rough because the submissions are joint is failures that you have to come, I'm done, you win, or you're gonna have a failure. So all my education has been utilized to prevent injuries in jujitsu while still playing. Um, GMB, Gold Medal Bodies, that's a gymnastics program. So you can go online, go to this guy's thing, and it teaches you how to be a gymnast, for like 200 bucks. And it's really powerful what you can accomplish. Like you would be amazed, like in a year from now, you're doing rings and all sorts of hand balancing from gymnastics. So what's helped me the most recently is foundation training. And this is from a doctor of chiropractic and he had lower back pain and a wrecked lower back, right? And he's in school for chiropractic and the doctors are telling him he needs surgery. And think about that, right? You're, like, you're supposed to be the back expert and the three people there are saying, no, you need to have surgery. He took that answer and he was not happy with it. And so he started figuring out how he could resolve his pain. And he started putting together this movement pattern where he essentially decompresses the spine through this, it's called the founder. And essentially it's this position which is in the logo where you're holding out like this and you're breathing and by breathing they call it decompressive breathing mm -hmm. and every breath you feel your rib cage coming up and you feel the lengthening between your spine and people have remarkable changes from their lower back pain from foundation training the one up here so um, for me I'm just still searching I'm a connoisseur I want to I want to feel movement. I want to feel my body feel different, you know? I'm a feeler. So, um, I haven't really got into the functional patterns other than I've seen some of the stuff. I've tried it, but I haven't actually gone into the program. The guy that created it is a little too egotistical for me. So, it's a little conflicting. But um, nat uh, Gymnastica Natural, these guys created this animal flow stuff. 40 years ago, this guy was doing jiu-jitsu in Brazil and decided to do these different movements as a way to train for jiu-jitsu. And the movements are amazing. I just found out about it through jiu-jitsu. And there, this team is associated with foundation training, which is associated with DNS. So like DNS, foundation training, gymnastica natural, those are like the beasts. You know, that's what all the doctors of chiropractic and physical therapy go to learn. And what's crazy, right, is like, why aren't the, acad like the institutions teaching that? You know, what's the holdup? Where's the tra lack of transfer of information? Evolution. <laughs> There's lots of money in surgery. That too. There you go. There's a lot of money in pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. So, um... You know, the thing that I've learned is, because I'm, I've, I've had the opportunity to live a pretty long life, is that we're excited and we always want to know why we can't at the moment. 
and it will all happen. Otherwise, this knowledge wouldn't be revealed. We just have to wait for that shift to happen. Well, and, and when you know it like you do, or whoever knows what they know, it's the patience that needs to come in play. Well, that's why I'm here too, right? Is to share this information and to put it together into some kind of idea or message where I'm trying to at least lead people to a better place. <coughs> and the thing is, is like, I couldn't tell you which one to do other than like a few of these. I would say like immediately try these. But then the other kicker is, is like, if we remember the principles of how to maintain healthy fascia, at the end of the day, it comes down to movement, right? And not too much and not too little, but movement. So what I'm starting to believe is that it's more about what is going to be productive for you with your schedule and what's going to keep you motivated to move. Because some people want to do swimming or some people want to do running or walking, right? If that's what makes you move, then go ahead and do that. Clearly, movement variety is better than not. The more you can have in your Rolodex for things you can do, the more mental capacity you have and more physical capacity you have. Which to me, I think it's always better to increase capacity than to start, because once you start cutting away, move it or lose it, move it or lose it, once you lose it, it's hard to get it back. So it's about, go ahead. I didn't want to ask That's all right. Um, I, I would just like to give a testimonial to foundation training. I was kind of waiting to see if you were going to explain that one too. Um, I have a foundation training um, DVD nice. and I, I, I watched him online and this was I don't know, five years ago and saw a video of him and his, his philosophy and thought, hey, that sounds really great. Um, so I bought it, and just FYI, it's really accessible. I mean, it's, it doesn't take long. Um, it's, it's different workouts that don't take long. Um, DVD, um, very effective, and I think it's great. Um, it's not hard, it's different, um, and, and I think effective and easy, easy to fit in to. Any routine. Yeah, yeah. In, into your routine. Yeah, I, I use it. So I actually got to see him out in California. Mm -hmm. He taught me how to do the founder. Uh -huh. And then uh, Eric Goodman, I think is yeah. his name. And um, yeah, he was there. And then his number two, Jesse, the nomad, essentially who's like the model in all his videos. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, I took one of his classes in Miami, Florida. And so if I had the money and the flexibility, I would go and become an instructor of that method right now but I just don't have the ability to do it. But I believe that strongly in it that I would utilize it as a, I mean, it's helped me with my back feel good from jujitsu that um, I'm not supposed to teach it because I'm not an instructor, but I highly recommend people to do it. And I, and I tend to show them what I was shown because I think it's that effective. And actually, if you go online, you can pay for like a $10 a month subscription and you got access to all their videos and workouts. So it's for $10 a month, you'll have access to this and it's worth it. Um, yeah. So, so you're saying uh, all I would, that? For you, for your situation, but what your yeah. issue is, yeah. I would say start with foundation training. Like it's, immediately. It's, it's really easy to do. It really is. Yeah. You know? So yeah. these people are doing what you, what you want. They're offering this. To, Free almost. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Yeah, Eric Goodman's making some serious headway. And a lot of people are buying into it right now. And you gotta be sure that you're doing the mechanics that they are showing you, right. you know, that, that Yeah, it's very technical. Is... Like they start you with your big toes together and heels apart and then loosen the knees and there's a lot of cueing involved where you start to feel what's happening in the body before you actually engage the movement, right? And that's where the coaching comes in. But um, yeah, it's all available online. And he's doing a great job. And there's a lot of people in the surfing community that use this, and that's helping provide more information about it. I mean, I bumped into this program like two different ways. You know, I was chatting to one guy, and he's like, oh, I fixed my lower back pain with foundation training. And then one other person said, said something about it, and I'm like, okay, I need to look into this. 
And then like right after that, I got to meet Eric Goodman and then I got to do another class with Jesse. So I'm like, and like I said, if I could afford to do the instructor certification, I would. How much is it? Uh, I think Probably. it's like $1,500. 1500 Yeah. I mean, again, How long is it? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I haven't looked that much into it. Um, so where else do I want to go with this? Um, did, yes. Well, I think you brought up a, a point earlier that really needs to be emphasized a lot. With all these things and many others, what you're trying to help people do is discover new organizational patterns so that they can utilize their whole body in a more fluid way. Because we tend, and what we see, I mean, especially gyms and stuff, that very angular, linear stuff. And the thing about circles, spirals, this sort of thing is alien. And so, you know, it, it's that aspect of just many hands make the load, you know, lighter. You did it. If you're, if you're more your body and you're growing your body and you're connecting it, and that that needs to be engaged and supported is invited in, and that which is not needed is there and it's not resistant. I mean, so yeah, the more you create through all these, you know, different options, so that, like you mentioned, it's, it's upgrading the software. I mean, I. I mean, the biggest influence in where, where I came into this was back in the mid '80s with Feldman, right. and they're they're more expensive. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, Thomas Myers was uh, he was very influenced by Feldman Kreis yeah. and Ida Rolf yeah. and Rolfing. Yeah. So a lot of his massages about that, but he did the dissections that created these lines of tension mm -hmm. and. Yeah. So they have like a, a program that you follow the Rolfing schedule and massage this, this like kind of like what you were saying about the package kind of thing. But um, I think the biggest thing is variety and movement capacity and then knowing what someone needs. So like your situation, it would be more beneficial for you to do pro uh, foundation training right now. But like if you were fit and a martial artist, I might throw you in tack fit. You know what I mean? So it, I think the biggest thing is having the idea of what's available and being open-minded to trying new things. And for me, as a researcher, I'm trying to actually find the most efficient movements from these. You know, I want to seek out what was the most potent movement that helped this problem or this mount, uh, malnutrition in the body, you know, this deficiency. Which one's going to help replenish it? So, uh, with that being said, all these help with teaching body awareness, right? Your body in space, which is proprioception. So, essentially, we have these proprioceptors in our body, which are located in the joint and in the muscle. And as you move and you bend your knees or in space, this is your awareness. Interoception is your perception of sensations. So how you're feeling, are you stressed, are you anxious, is your heart throbbing right now, is your breathing calm? Interoception is your body's uh, putting that all together. And one of the other things I teach is the Wim Hof Method. And the Wim Hof Method goes into stress management from the cold. And so that's big on interoception, right? Is understanding how your body's reacting to stress while you're in it and how you manage it. So pretty simple, benefits of regular physical activity, improved mood, well-being, lower risk of heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, but again, the kicker, growth and development of strong bones, muscles, and joints. Move it or lose it, energy preservation. So whenever the body doesn't need something, it just gets rid of it, it kind of eats it. So let's get moving. We're going to do breathing. We're going to do some joint mobility. We're going to integrate it into a full body kind of pattern. And then I'm going to finish off with another breath work session. And that's it for today. Thank you.